hello guys welcome to my tutorial again so we're doing the style that is on the screen so let's get right into the video please if you don't remember how to take a shoulder measurement please check previous videos you see where i explained how to take a shoulder measurement so today we are using four inches for the neck point but because we are working straight on the fabric we are going to be doing 3.5 then we're going to come down to um 1.5 because we're doing dealing with the back first so 1.5 and after sewing so we're going to be having two so let's do 1.5 so from the starting line we're taking our measurements so this person we're working with the boss point is 11.5 her waist is 16.5 and that is a half length is 16.5 then from the half length we are going to be taking the um, hips we are going to be using 18 inches for the hips the length of the dress is 55 so I have added to this um, fabric because it is not long enough so I've added to it. So we're going to be marking 55 plus 2 inches fold allowance. Then what we're going to do, we're going to be taking the shoulder. Our shoulder is, um, for this particular dress, we're going to be doing a shoulder slope. But from the design, there is no shoulder slope, it's just a fold. But this fabric will not be allowing, the pattern will not be allowing me to turn it. So we're going to be making a shoulder slope. So our shoulder actually is 20. So we're dividing it by 2, which is 10. The length of the sleeve we are working with from the shoulder is, from the end of the shoulder is 14. So we're measuring the bust. 46 divided by 4 is 11.5. I'll be adding 3 inches. I'm not adding too much inches because I don't want it too big. Then I'm going to be adding 2 inches seam allowance. You can add your allowance based on your preference or your choice. For the waist also, we have divided by 4, we have 10.5. Then we're going to add in three inches. Then two inches is allowance. Now down at the hips, our hips is 46. Our hips is 46. So we're dividing 40, I'm sorry, 48. Then we're dividing 48 by 4. We have 12. Then we'll add as usual three inches. Then two inches is allowance. Now, because of the style. We are just going to be going straight down. So we'll, we'll take a measurement of what the measurement is on the hips line, bringing it straight down at the hem. So we'll be ruling it straight down. Because it's going to have a slit by the side, so we're taking it straight down. So we're connecting the hips to the waist and the waist to the bust. Then a curve by the side. Then now we're going to be doing the shoulder slope. So we're going to be coming down to the end of the sleeve. Come down by 1.5. Please, if you don't understand this, um, why I came down 1.5, we have other tutorials. I'll drop the link so you can watch it. The reason why we came down on 1.5. So we're connecting it to the neck point. So this person is on the bigger side. And for that reason, I'm giving her armhole of 11 because she's on the bigger side. So I'm going to be marking the 11 
all the way to the end of the sleeve. <coughs> Then that's, um, we mark it straight, we're marking it straight down. So what we'll do here, we're going to make a little curve. It can't be sharp, so we're going to make it a little curve. So you take it straight down, then you have your two inches fold allowance. So what we'll be doing, we don't forget, we're going to be um, cutting it out. We're going to be cutting it out, we're cutting the, the, using the back measurement to cut the both of them. So we're cutting it out. But before we cut it out, let's do the pocket um, line. So from the waistline, you can see that, um, I have marked the waistline. So from the waistline, you come down by one inch from the actual waist. From the actual waist, you come down by one inch. Make sure you're using the actual waistline. You come down by one inch. That becomes where your pocket line is. So now, guys, we are going to be cutting it out. We're so cutting the both back and the front together using the back um, measurement. So guys, we have cut it out now. Make sure you notch because it's going to serve as a guideline. You notch the center. And make sure you notch the, the pocket um, pocket line. Make sure you notch it. Now, now we're going to be removing one. We're removing the one from the middle because that is the back. Now we're going to work in with the one at the front, um, the, the one with us now for the front. Now, this fabric is what I'll be using for the middle. This fabric right now, we're going to, the measurement of this fabric is um, five inches. The measurement is five inches wide. So if you check the design that we have, you'll find out that the distance on the middle is about four inches, while the remaining one is going to be for the seam allowance to sew it on the fabric. So that is the reason why we have five inches. If you are dealing with other fabrics that are wider, you have to consider the fabric you want to use in joining in, that, in the middle center of the dress before cutting the fabric. And also, I have gummed it so that it will give us enough strength. I would advise that I use a hair stay. Now, because this fabric I'm working, it, working with is five inches, that means um, I need to have four inches on my dress and half an inch sewing. Now, if I'm going to be using, I'm sorry, I'm going to be having um, four inches on my dress. Sorry, it's four inches I'm supposed to have on my dress. Now, because I'm going to be having four inches on my dress, I have to work with 1.5. So by the time I finish sewing it, I would automatically have four inches. So that's the other thing you have to consider. You have to consider what you are working with on whatever fabric you want to place on your dress. So I'm going to be ruling that 1.5 inches all the way down. I'm going to ruin the 1.5 inches all the way down. Like I said, you have to understand the fabric you are going to be placing. I'm placing a fabric with a distance of four inches that is why on the fabric i'm cutting 1.5 so by the time i finish sewing it i would have two because half of it is going to be my seam allowance now my neck depth from my shoulder is 7.5 i'm using 7.5 from the next depth from my shoulder that's another area you have to consider because this area is quite tax and um, technical so now you have to be connecting it a straight line to your shoulder point from that 7.5. Just place a, a, just watch the way I did it and follow that same pattern.
Now we're going to be cutting it out. We're going to be cutting it out all the way down. You have to be careful around that place. Make sure it's not sharp. Give it a little bend. Then you connect it to the neck point. Okay, guys. So now we're going to be... We have, I've joined the shoulder with the back. I've joined the shoulder. Now what we're going to do, we're going to be taking the measurements from the end of the fabric, front fabric, the what we the end of the front fabric all the way through the shoulder down to the so the whole of that front fabric now that we have caught we're going to be taking the measurements down to the shoulder back and down again to the other side so let's um measure so the total i have is 125 that is the total length that i have 125 now I'm on the fabric i'll be making sure that I have more than 125 at least you have eggs additional like five inches additional or more so that you will not have any shortage so it's advisable you add like five inches or more so guys let me check what I have on my so apparently I have 135 which is good for me now I'm going to be getting the middle of this um, fabric now we're going to be looking out for the middle. I just confirmed that it's um, five inches, but let's get the middle of the brown fabric. Now I have the middle of the fa brown fabric. Now I'm now going to find my neck my neck depth on that brown fabric now when you are trying to get your neck depth you have to consider that your your, your actual neck uh, measurement that you took was actually from your shoulder that is the 7.5 that's what i got but now on this fabric remember that this is coming from the center of your neck your neck your spinal cord so if you are going to be doing that you are going to be adding three inches to the length of your neck depth like if you are dealing with a bigger size person, you use 3.5. If you are dealing with um, a slimmer person, you use three. So because I'm dealing with a fat person, I'm going to be having adding my marking my 3.5 first. Then from after my 3.5, after the three point, after getting my 3.5 from the 3.5 line, I'm now going to now place my actual neck depth which is actually 7.5 the neck depth that i got from my shoulder line is now 7.5 now i have a total of um, i have a total of 11 as my neck depth that 11 is coming from the center of my neck the spinal cord area so that is now going to be my actual neck depth now i have moved i have ruled it the next thing to do now is to, to get the center of this fabric now. We are going to mark the center all the way down. All the way down to the end of it. We are going to mark in the center. Another thing you have to consider also is your slits. The slits you want to, the, the length of slits that you need from the down of the hem of your fabric to wherever you want it to stop. You are going to also consider that now you will go to the end of this brown fabric that i'll go to the end of this brown fabric that i have i'm now going to mark where my slits will stop i'll be marking where i want my slits to stop okay guys so i've marked the center line i've marked the center line all the way down i've marked the center line all the way down to where i want my slits to so that's where my slit is going to be stopping 
So now I'm going to be sewing that center line. You see, from where my slit stops, I'll be sewing that center line to my neck point. To the line of my neck point where I have ruled. Yes, I'm going to be sewing that place, the center of it. Just like that, I'm just going to sew it to, this, to that neck depth. This area is quite tactical, so you just have to take your time. Now I have sewn this. I'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like. Now this is what it looks like. I have sewn it down. So I'm going to go to my iron and iron it very flat this way. I'm going to be ironing it very flat this way. So you can see the opening of the neck. So let's. So now I have ironed. You can see the slits that I stopped, and you can see the opening of your of the neck. That is the neck opening. Now I'm going to be placing this on the fabric. That is the where the slits. My own slits have stopped. So yours. It depends on how them how you want your slits to be so guys we're going to be placing this on the fabric now now i'll go back to the notch that i made as i said the notch is very very important i'll go back to that knot that i make that is my that's my center on the dress now i'm going to be placing also the center of this um, brown um, fabric i'll be sewing it on the dress now you have to be very careful while you're sewing this place because you have to consider which parts you want it to be your front and which part you want it to be the back so when i when i um, join my I'll, I'll be sewing the side also and i'll be sewing the other side also so guys let's just let me let when i sew it then you see what it's going to look like so this is it now i've sewn it on the fabric so this is what it's looking like i see the head um, the, the um head side is opened then you can see the slits also so guys what we're going to do next is to um, put the pockets now remember your notch line where you notch for the pockets you have to follow that notch line so I'm going to be making one one I'm going to be making one inch away from the parts from that middle um, fabric there then I'll be making sure I um, Okay guys, so what I'm using for my, my pocket now is 8 inches by 10 inches. 10 inches long, 8 inches wide. So this is it. But in the process of cutting this um, fabric, I cut 8 inches wide. I'm 8, um, 8 inches long by 8 inches wide. Remember your seam allowance. Then you see the brown fabric is going to be completing the two inches because the total length of my of my um, pocket is 10. now i'm going to be using this to com complete the two inches i've removed from the fabric which will also now bring the um, um, pockets to 10. then i've sewn it and, and i've ironed it i've sewn it on the fabric and i've ironed it and i've ironed all my half things i'm using to so um join the um, pocket so guys this is it i've joined the pockets so what we are going to be doing next now is to close up the dress. So guys, I've closed up the dress. Now that part is the part that we made the curve where we are um, sketching out the dress. So we are going to be notching it. Make sure you notch it. If you do not notch it, it will not relax. You have to make sure you notch it. And while notching it, you have to be careful not to notch your seam out. So guys, this is the final look of this dress. It came out very beautiful. You should give it a try. If you have liked this video, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like. Don't forget to drop a comment for me. And also always come back.